Hey guys! So today I'm back again with another portrait time lapse video, and it'll be another oil painting on canvas, and it's of a special person in my life, uh, my grandfather. I will be doing a portrait of my grandmother and grandfather. So this one here um, is a picture that I actually took of him, and uh, he just has this really kind of cute, funny expression that I think really shows his personality and it's probably my all-time favorite picture of him so that's why I chose to paint that one and as he is much older um, it is going to be different from painting other portraits that I've done so it was very interesting to paint someone who's older um, you don't want to make them look kind of weird with a whole bunch of lines on their face so I think it's something you really have to be careful about and really pay attention to not just putting lines on their face just because they do have some wrinkles here and there. And again, like I usually do, I started off with the eyes and they're quite different from um, someone who's younger and it's a very kind of well-defined eye. So um, the shape of his eyes were quite different too. So I was trying to capture that by using some shadows and just trying to get that structure of his face as well. And he just looks really funky in this one. Um, the lips did not look right, um, but as you continue to watch this, you will see how it progresses. So you'll be able to see the difference in the end. But yeah, don't be alarmed if your drawing or painting looks like this and you're like oh my gosh it does not look like the person because as you keep going it will improve so much and this is just the start there was a lot of going back and forth with this picture um, just because sometimes the shadows just felt too harsh and then adding a lot of highlights it just seemed unbalanced then so it was really kind of a back and forth process where you just have to play with it and as you develop the portrait it slowly starts to look like the person so just time and patience is all that's required to perfect your portraits And another thing that I loved about this picture as well was the background. So it was this greenery with really big leaves and it was just very vibrant and colorful and green is also one of my favorite colors so it definitely drew my eye. And how I approached this background was just by doing some solid colors, different greens, and this is kind of a shortcut for um, when you're doing very complex backgrounds because if you're working at it from you know one side to the other it's going to take you forever to put in all those details but by doing a solid color and then going over that and then putting in your other values and colors in there it's going to make this process so much faster so as you can see I go in with a little bit of a lighter green to just draw in where those leaves are going to be placed and then I'm going to be adding more of the greens and the tones that I want in the leaves. And there's some bouquet in the background so it's kind of like this blurred out and you know you can see the lights and it's very soft and subtle. So how I like to paint this is by using some dabbles of paint and just really blending them out and because you already have that solid color in there, it's so easy to just blend out these dabbles of paint here and there. And then for the shirt, it's a solid white shirt and the easiest way to make this look super realistic is by taking some different tones and then putting that where the shadows are and once you've established that, go in with some titanium white and then blend it out. So then these shadows are very subtle but very apparent and they don't stick out like a sore thumb but they really create this three-dimensional look. 
and the hair really does finish off the portrait so I saved it for the end because I knew I wanted to do the background and then do the hair which is at the forefront of the picture and it's just so much easier to do that and once that was done it really all came together and uh, I'm really happy with the way that it turned out. I hope you guys liked it as well and let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I will see you in the next one. Bye guys!